future. So we're coming to the end of 2016, and what a year it has been. Quite the roller coaster, I think you will agree. Some absolutely amazing things happened to me this year, including becoming a Nissan Generation Next Ambassador for 2016 and winning a Nissan NV200 van. To be honest, it's still hard to believe. Already the van has opened up so many doors for me and meant that I could accept some possibilities that wouldn't have been possible before. Some amazing opportunities. So I really cannot thank Nissan Ireland enough, or my family and friends and all those who voted for me, even people I didn't know. I am absolutely, incredibly grateful and I cannot thank you enough. So at the very beginning of December, I played in the Clifftown House Hotel off Stephen's Green, which is a beautiful hotel, and I played there for a corporate reception. And it was great because it was beautifully lit up and decorated for Christmas, it really put you in the festive mood. They had amazing Christmas trees and twinkly lights. I have a little bit of it filmed later on in the video, uh, so I'm not sure whether it'll translate over camera, but the atmosphere was wonderful. And after that, it was on to the Mead Business and Tourism Awards reception in the Newgrange Hotel in Navin, which was also beautifully lit up for Christmas, and that was a great event to be a part of. After that, there was a private house recital with my friend Barbara, who plays the flute, so we had a flute and harp duo, and we played lots of Christmas carols and had some wonderful Christmas treats. So that was lovely. I was then part of a very special concert with the Colwick Choral Society as part of their annual Christmas carol concert and uh, they're conducted by Bernie Sherlock and their concert is every year in the National Concert Hall and that was absolutely amazing. They, I would really recommend that anybody go to that concert next year because they have some wonderful festive favourites but then they have some new carols as well which are just beautifully arranged and it's quite a wonderful concert. One of the absolute highlights of December and 2016 playing with the Greystones Orchestra, conducted by Alan Duff, in their Christmas carol concert, which took place in Bray. And that was absolutely amazing and very special for me, because I got the opportunity to play a piece that is very well known in the harping repertoire, called the Boosie Don Sopre in Profan. Apologies for my pronunciation. It was absolutely amazing for me to get the opportunity to play that, so I'm very grateful uh, to Greystones Orchestra for having me, and it was a brilliant and very special concert to be involved in. The very next day, my students had their own Christmas concert. So for the last few years, it's been held in the RST Centre, which is our local centre in Screen. And again, another wonderful year. Um, we were working on pieces since Halloween, and the students practiced really hard, and they all played fantastically well, so I was very, very proud. And then after the concert, we had some well-served hot chocolate and Christmas treats. I had a fantastic opportunity to join other musicians in our Body Christmas dinner, which is held in Cottleborough Street, with my friend Laura, who plays the violin. So this time we had a violin and harp duo, and that was a lot of fun. Lots of Christmas carols again. Have to love the Christmas carols, and I also love going to Cottleborough Street at this time of year because they have this fantastic gingerbread display as you walk in the door of the lobby. Uh, it's either a village or houses or some gingerbread creation, but it's always massive and fantastically decorated and there's such detail and what I loved particularly this year was they had these little stained glass windows that was made that were made from sugar and uh, yeah amazing I have a picture later on so have a look at that another fantastic highlight of the Christmas season was joining the Cantimus Choir conducted by Tony Morrison for one of their Christmas concerts this year in Coleraine which is quite the trip from me <laughs> I made the trip with my sister Roshi and we stayed overnight after the concert which was a wonderful concert. It was a thrill to be there and it really put you in the Christmas spirit, Belfast Christmas Market, which was so wonderful and sparkly and great. From Belfast, we went to RD Nursing Home where I played before and during Mass for the residents. And that was really nice because the residents were very friendly and welcoming and it was a really nice thing to do for Christmas. Another incredible highlight of December and 2016 was playing with the Ulster Orchestra in their Christmas Unwrapped concert series that took place in Ulster. And uh, I actually have the programme here. This is Christopher Bell, he was the conductor, and he was absolutely amazing. Uh, all of the concerts were very interactive, the audience participated, there was dancing and singing, and it was absolutely hilarious. I, even though there were some of the same jokes every night, I laughed every single night because they were just hilarious. Uh, so we played in four different places. The first day was the Aurora Aquatic and Leisure Centre in Bangor. Then the second day we went to Ballymena North Recreation Centre. The third day was in Struhl Arts Centre in Oma, and we finished up on the fourth day in Ulster Hall in Belfast. And I just had an absolutely fantastic time. It was an honour to play with the Ulster Orchestra. Uh, the concert was all Christmassy, and the outfits.
outfits were hilarious. The, the orchestra dress up. Uh, they dress up as Christmas trees or they wear silly jumpers, Christmassy jumpers or hats or dress up as Mrs. Claus or elves. I have no idea. There, were, there was uh, something every night. Wigs, lots of tinsel. So if you can, go on to these concerts next year because I'm sure they'll be on. Uh, it's such a treat. Uh, it was such a treat to play and I'm sure the audience seemed to enjoy it every single night. So um, yeah, that was amazing. I had a quiet Christmas after that. Well, the 23rd and the 24th were crazy getting ready for Christmas. Um, but Christmas was quiet, which was lovely. I really appreciated that. And then uh, there was one final thing on the 31st of December. I played at a dinner after a wedding in the Newgrange Hotel in Navin and that was just a wonderful way to finish off the year. Shanae! That's December and 2016. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I hope you've enjoyed them and I look forward to seeing you in January. Have a very happy Christmas and a safe and peaceful New Year. Meet Pingu, my travelling companion.